Mm -mm. I gotta load them up. I gotta load them up. Touch that nose. Touch that nose, touch that nose. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy out here, man. They ain't stopping. I have to let them load up. Right down the Zaza way, load up right here, man. It's crazy out here, man. Don't make no sense. You two, what it do? Touch that nose. Touch that nose, man. We vibing, man. I got my water ready. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Got that water ready. I got that what's his name ready. And I'm chilling, dog. Touch that nose. I'm about to break this Zaza down. We're going to be talking about, first of all, shout to that boy, Hot Boy. For doing what he did, you know, as big as he got in this music game. You know, coming in, representing out of Orlando, coming in, turning up. But same time, I just seen a video, a video with the crew praying. I think Hot Boy about to turn himself in. And you know, one thing about turning yourself in, when you're on the level like Hot Boy, you don't want to go in. You seen it with 42 Doug, bro. 42 Doug ain't want to go in, though. I'm about to break this Zaza down, because I got to roll up. I can't be talking, ain't smoking, because, boy, it's about to go down. Touch that nose. Touch that nose. Don't forget to like, subscribe. But like, like y'all seen it with 42 Doug. When you getting the money like that, you're an artist. You don't want to go in. Only people that's ready to go in, people that ain't got nothing going out here for themselves. They go to jail. They bed still left the same way. They mom keep got their bed, keep clean. The room still the same way. But when you out here handing in business, like an artist, like a hot boy, going platinum. Did the hot boy go platinum? I know he went gold. Going gold a couple times. Doing big music with the with the futures. With the little baby. Now you got to go check in. You got to go sit down. Rico's. If y'all don't know another Florida rapper that go by it, Glock 9. Free that boy Glock 9 too. If y'all don't know Glock 9 and Hot Boy, a okay, uh, um, you know rumors was going through it, allegedly. You feel me? So it's like, this message really for the younger artists is like, that's trying to become a rapper. And that got their feet one foot in, one foot out. It's never, it's never cool to be one foot in, one foot out. Because it's dangerous out here. Especially when you're trying to get to that bag, you're trying to get to that money. You feel me? So you're going to have to know how to move out here. Because like I say, one minute you out here enjoying that money, one minute you got to go sit down. You got to go do time. You feel me? So, and then when you're doing time, that when you really see who really care about you, who really love you. Because when you're doing time, you can't move on your own. You got to depend on people. And so that's what's fucked up about this situation. And then remember, this is Florida. This is Rico. When you catch a Rico, do you even know how much time you're looking at? Or do you know how much time you're going to get? Or you, it's always a waiting game. Touch your nose. So that's what's really tough right now. So I got to roll this up. Hold on right quick. This is crazy right now, man. Like I said, all the rappers going to jail. Hold on, let me light this up right quick. Let me light this up right quick. It don't make no damn sense. I got to roll this up because like I say, I got to be on that Zaza. I got to hit that Zaza, bro. Mm -mm -mm. I got to roll up because I, I can't talk without... Without roll, that one thing about me, I got to get high when I'm getting right. Y'all like to talk sober. I like to be high. Cause this shit all crazy, man. Like, one minute you out here doing your music, getting get to that bag. Next thing you know, bitch, you facing time. That's why I say, it's gonna be hard. Like, what's gonna be hard is rappers still wanna be street dudes when they get into that bag. And I know what y'all saying, it's hard not to be street. 
Man, we know it's crazy. And I know what y'all saying. It's hard not to be street when you're an artist. But shit, motherfuckers gonna have to learn. Because you're a target out here. You're a target. You getting money. Police watching. The fans watching. They think you supplying everybody. So it's like you got to learn how to be out the way, duck and tuck. Stay away from everybody. But most people, mm -mm -mm, I got to, oh. Most people don't know. How to stay away. Oh, yeah. Where my light at? Let me look for my light. Yeah, man. So that's what's really crazy about this whole situation, man. You know, that's bigger than just a hot boy. Like, this this been a repeat. Like, look, look at the floor of the scene. You know, the Glock 9. Hot boy. You know, both Orlando artists did it real big for Orlando. Made history for the city. Put the city on. But at the same time, look. Glock 9 locked up. Glock 9 locked the fuck up. Motherfucking hot boy about to turn himself in for a Rico case. The state of, and, and that's what they understand. State of Florida don't give a fuck about you, bro. We got different rules down here. State of Florida don't give a fuck about a rapper, a trapper, a Woody Woo, a Pikachu, a Dragon Ball Z. They don't lock your ass up over here. They'll throw the whole key out. So that's what we got to understand. Like Florida, they don't throw the whole key out on your ass. But we be thinking we unstoppable. And sometimes it don't be us. It be the people around us. That's why I say you got to keep them real soldiers around you. Soldiers that ain't scared to check you. Soldiers that are going to tell you you out of pocket. Get back in line. We don't care you got the most money, but you out of pocket. We want to make sure you stay out here. I want to protect my investment. And so that's what some of these niggas got to start doing. Start looking at their homies like they investment. I can't, bitch, I can't let my investment go away. That's just like you being in jail and you, be, and you over here pressuring somebody for that food. You see somebody start trying to go holler at that dude that been, you been, that been bringing bread. What you going to say? Yo, leave that nigga alone, boy. That, that's me right there. Don't even worry about that dude. So it's like if you if you, if you a homeboy of a rapper, and y'all here doing y'all thing. You see niggas slipping. You got to be able to talk to a nigga. You got to be able to break it down to a nigga. Let a nigga know, yo, bro, you fucking up, bro. You got to tighten up, bro. Because if we don't, shit fucked up. Shit going to always keep going on. Let me like this, Zaza, man. Don't forget to hit that super chat. Don't forget to share, man. Because this ain't nothing new. This shit going to keep going. It's, gonna, it's just going to keep getting worse, though. Niggas going to rap. Drop a hit, go to jail. Niggas gonna rap, drop a hit, go to jail. More money, more problem, but you gotta know. Yeah, you right. More money, more problem. I trust me, I know about that. More money, more problem, but at the same time, guess what? You gotta know how to move to avoid some of these problems, cuz. You gotta know how to move to avoid some of these problems, bro, cuz some of that problem, we walk into that shit. Some of that problem be, we be chilling, we walk right into that bitch. We should, we should have never been around that problem. So you got to understand, like, a bitch don't care how much money you got, how much you think you making, they will erase your ass out here, man. So as a rapper, entertainer, you just got to know how to move out here. Like you say, more money, more problem. But shit, you better know how to move out here or you get sucked in this motherfucking circle of life, y'all call it. Be locked up, be missed out. Be forgot about. Because that's another thing, too. Ain't nothing but fake love out here. Like, bitch don't only care about you for what you could do for them. So y'all got to know, you got to care about your low life. And my thing is, niggas be moving swiffer when there was regular niggas. The minute they get that deal, that's when you got to know how to move. Because now you important. You a target. You you got your family depending on you. They watching you. But this, LLC can't, with all this, and you know what's the problem, too? When these rappers make these LLCs, they're not no businesses. They gangs. Y'all got to treat these shits like, y'all got to treat this shit like it's business, bro. Y'all can't treat this bitch like it's a game. Y'all got to treat this bitch like a business. Too many gangsters mainstream. That's what I'm saying. Too much, Remember, too much motherfuckers want to be gangster, too. It's not about too many motherfuckers gangsters mainstream. Everybody want to be a gangster. What the nerds at? Nobody want to be the nerd no more? It, it, it's okay. Everybody want to be a hitter. Everybody want to be a stepper. Bah, bah. Everybody want to bust. So it's like, even the hoes think it's cool. Bitch, these hoes get horny here and you done bust somebody. Yeah. 
You got to know how to move out here. You got to know how to swivel out here. My bad, I was looking at that text. Let me, let me, let me, let me apply to that text right quick. Yeah, my bad about that. Somebody just take me some important stuff. I had to text and bite. So, yeah, like, you feel me? Everybody want to be them steppers, bro. Everybody want to be them hitters. Where is the people that want to be regular? You feel me? Where is the people that want to be regular? That want to, man, ain't, 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 none, ain't, none, ain't no more of those left no more. So, my thing is, if you going to choose the rap game, a way out the game, out the streets, out this hard not life, you got to motherfucking go full throttle. You got to go head first. Head first in the rap game. In the booth. You feel me? Nah, this, this bigger than Hot Boy. Because like I say, Hot Boy just part of what's been going on. Like I say, Hot Boy, the Glock 9s. Only thing is, they big artists. You got other artists from Orlando, Florida. That's on their way too, but at the same time is the bigger you get, like you gotta look at that shit. Glock nine and them boys started getting big, started growing up. Bitch, them bitches started going to jail, bitches started dying. You think the police wanna see motherfuckers dying in Disneyland? I know I know Disneyland is Kissimmee, but you know what I mean. The whole Orlando, we gonna call that the whole Disney world. You think they wanna see motherfuckers getting shot up? Gang, gang, this, gang, gang, that. You on YouTube, you going viral, you getting treated like a celebrity. The white kids know you. The police ain't having that, bro. The police is not having that, bro. So you just got to know how to move out here. Like when you get into that money, you got to be a full-time rapper. Full-time rapper means staying out the way. Stand out the way. Don't put your name attached to nothing. Because look at that young thug shit. Look at that young thug shit. Look at that, um, what's his name from um Mobile. That be freestyling in jail all the time. Bruh. That shit ain't no joke like, bitch. Bitches is going to jail. Bitches getting signed and going straight to jail, bruh. You got to know how to move it. You got to know. You got to know how to. You got to know how to go to the plate. Don't even. Listen, fam. This shit for real out here, bro. When you. Listen, I tell a motherfucker all the time. When you ain't getting no money. It's easy to cheer. You ain't got no money. It, you, when you ain't got no money, it's easy to be born. You ain't got no money. But what about when you getting that bag? Everybody calling you up. Everybody want to chill with you. You the shit. You toilet paper. You stink. You toilet paper. Uh, you the shit. Yeah, because now everybody calling your name. Niggas, the hoes, the bitch. Everybody calling your name. That shit gets y'all hypnotized. Sometimes the fellas be more groupies than the females. You don't know who's more groupy. The fellas, the female, everybody calling you. You got to be focused out here. Because you don't get focused, you get lost in that sauce. You start thinking you're, you're untouchable. You start thinking you're unhuman. This shit for real. Like, you got to know how to move out here. Y'all don't understand, cuz. And that's that problem. You don't know. And y'all see it all the time with the rappers now. It's like, like it's not just the rappers, everybody. One thing about jail, jail going to make you motherfucking humble yourself. One thing about jail, if you ever been to jail, if you ever been to jail, jail gonna make you humble yourself, bro. Because jail ain't a place you want to be at. Jail make you appreciate every little thing out here in this earth world without being told when to go to sleep. You feel me? Like, bro, like, cause you understand, touch that nose, bro. When you in jail, you 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 see how serious it is and how life important it is to be out here. So think about when you getting that real money. You got bills out here. You got family you taking care of. You go do time. 
you fucking that shit up for everybody. You fucking that shit up for everybody. You can't go do no time. It's money out here waiting on you. How many of y'all hit that super chat? Touch your nose, man. So you just got to know, bro. Because it's different when you ain't got no motion. When you ain't got no motion coming in, no money coming in, it's easy to stay humble. Stay. I'm talking about when you getting that money. All these dick riders around you. All these yes men. All these yes females. Yes sirs. Everything. Touch that nose. That's when you got to know how to move. That's how you got to know when to move and how to be boring, bitch. Because that lime life, that shit will suck you in. Everybody around you kissing your ass. You just think you the shit. That shit crazy, bro. So it's like, that's why I say it's all about the entourage that's around. But the main, like I say, it's all over right now. I'm talking like, because, you know, I'm sipping. But the main thing, bro, all my upcoming little kids that's trying to rap, you got to be a rapper, bro. You got to pick one, bro. You can't be thugging and rapping at the same time, cuz. You got to pick what you're going to do. Are you going to be thugging or you going to be rapping, bro? They both ain't going to work. They going to come get you. They going to come get you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know. So how to humble, bro. Stay focused out here. Stay focused on the bag. Stay focused on the plan. Stay focused on the mission. You got to know your mission too, bro. A lot of motherfuckers' mission be the clout. You got to know who, who's, who, who's on the team. Y'all motherfuckers be having motherfuckers on the team trying to sink the ship, bro. We be having motherfuckers on the boat. We trying to steer the boat. Nigga trying to sink the ship. You don't even know it. So you got to know the team real good. Study the motherfucking team, bro. You got to know the fucking team because you, you don't never know who could be on the team playing both sides, really playing no side. You feel me? So it's like, bro, like, you get like, you chasing that rap game, full-time rapper, bro. If you know what you done did, you know what you done did, you know what you done been through. Rap about that shit. Bitch, you get in the rap game. Bitch, you want to go kill somebody so you can rap about it. It's like, what, what y'all niggas don't got nothing to rap about? Hold on. I'm going to go kill somebody. That way I can go write it down. I'm going to go shoot at him so now I can say, yeah, I shot at the nigga, but the nigga lucky I missed. Nah, bro, we too. Bitch, we got to get back on that rap. Bitch, you, you rap to get out the streets. Bitch, you don't, wanna, you don't go rapping to get bike in the streets. Bitch became a rapper. He got them gang signs now, bitch. You got to remember. You rap, I rap. If I'm beefing with you, now I think, bitch, I'm beefing with you because this shit crazy now, nah, man. We got to get this shit together, bro. I'm telling you, like, like, imagine how the mothers feel. Like, okay, imagine, like, Glock 9, mom, bro. Watching her son jump in the rap game, excited for her son. The minute he get in the rap game, he start going to jail back to back, back to back, back to back. As a mother or father, you start thinking, God damn, is this rap shit a curse? Pretty soon, ain't going to be, oh, the rap game out the ghetto. Like, man, the rap game, bitch, the way to get the jail old motherfucking under the dirt. This shit zooed up out here, bro. And that's what I'm saying. They got to start finding nice more. There's other stuff to do. You could, it's, it's, it's other ways to get to the bag. Because they making the rap game like the most violent shit ever. Like, the most violent. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. You heard that there? You got heard when you heard Glock 9 got caught. That's what I'm saying. Like, all these rappers, look, he caught Sam. That's a tough one, bro. And you know, you can't call it a Rico, but you don't even know what you're facing. You just know you're looking at time. But you know how scary that is knowing you're looking at time. You don't know how much you're looking at, bitch. Especially when you get money. That's why I say. Let's do stuff to prevent shit from happening before it's too late. You feel me? 
Because there's certain stuff we could do, certain way we could move to prevent certain stuff from happening. Touch that nose. Touch that nose. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy out here, man. That's why I say you got to know how to move out here. You got to know what you're doing. And y'all got to start picking different choices because I feel like I don't know. This rap shit kind of crazy out here. So you, we got to know how to pick. What we going to pick? We got to know what we going to do, how we going to do it. Man, the rap game, you know it's the ghetto. But my thing is, God, rap games is me should have been a way to get out the hood. Rap game, you don't go to the hood, you might fall off. It's like, it's like, the shit take me back to school. Like, I, I used to see the smart kids act like it was dumb just to fit in. And that's how the rap game is. Everybody trying to fit in with the dumb shit. Too much hanging out instead of hanging in the studio. Facts. Rappers hanging out. They don't hang in the studio no more. They be hanging out. You supposed to be in the booth every day dropping them heats. Y'all want to hear some gangster shit? Here it is. Motherfuckers want to go on the streets, do some gangster shit, then go rap about it. Fuck that. Bro, you got to know how to move out here. You got to know how to swivel out here, bro. Like, this shit. Damn, ZB. <laughs> in high school, you was the man, ZB. <laughs> you got to know how to move. What you say? Kodak say you from the hood. Huh? And that what you hear what he say? And that, and, and that what some rappers preach. You from the hood, why don't go back? And that's what I'm saying, so now it's pressure. Because even though we know the hood don't love you, but we getting pressure to go to the hood. We getting pressure to go to the hood, even though you know the hood don't love you. So you just got to know. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all gonna have to touch that nose, man. It's crazy. I ain't gonna leave y'all too long, man. But y'all, you feel me? It just like it don't make no sense, bro. Like, why is this game so cut though? Why, why, why the rap game so cut though, bro? Ain't no more. Ha ain't no happy rappers, bitch. I wanna have any, ain't no happy rappers up in this motherfucker. That shit crazy, man. I don't think I don't think there's no happy rappers left. Everybody mad and violent. Chop a bang, bang, bang. Kill them, bang, bang. That's why I say, boy, I don't know. They don't want to hear no real shit no more. Mm -mm -mm. Touch that nose, touch that nose. Man, you know how it is. Mm -mm -mm. Touch that nose, tippy toes, man. Y'all know P. Diddy. It's crazy out here, but like I said, it just don't make no sense now. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, you jump in the rap game, you trying to get to the bag. Next time you know you, bitch, you, bitch, you facing recos, bitch. The whole city, bitch, you facing 15 years. You facing 20. It's like, look at Thugger. Look at Gunner. This shit ain't stopping. This bitch a domino effect, bitch. Bitch, you over here like, who's next? It's like a movie. Da, 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 da. Who's the fuck next is gonna get locked up? Like, what really going? And ain't nobody learning? You think the mother other rappers like, oh, shit, let me tighten up. Dumb motherfuckers just got caught. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers like, that's them niggas. That ain't me. Charges after charges. Pow. They giving out charges like niggas going to the store buying pokes. Touch that nose. I'm going to throw my whole nose away. I might have to hit the side side cup. Boy, I'm telling you, bro. And that's why I say that social media, you could use that shit to get money. But at the same time, that social media can fuck you up, bro. Because a lot of motherfuckers doing shit for the clout. 
Like, look at that. R.I.P. that boy, Dolph. It's, it's like jail, prison, Rico's, feds. It, it don't stop. They, they basically say, pick one. What you want, jail, prison, or feds? Man, we got to make that decision. Man, neither, bitch. We're going to do this music. We're going to save these kids. Take them out the ghetto. We're going to buy the land back. We're going to take off. But it's like we poisoning the kids. We poisoning everybody. Shh, touch that nose, bro. This shit. It's like, bitch, you know, oh, get killed. Facts. Bitch, get killed. But that's, that's already going. Bitch, I'll, shh, touch that nose, man. I'm going to y'all hit that super chat, man. It don't make no sense, bro. Like, bitch, you jumping the right game. You doing your thing, bitch. Next thing you know, bitch, the first two, three years, bitch, you done, come, you done went to jail a couple of times. Now you facing Rico's. Bitch, people, they said people done died because of you. Like, bro, this ain't no game. This ain't Grand Theft Auto. What, this is a Grand Theft Auto? Hmm. See, Florida, we got to be on point. You feel me? Because they going to hang a bitch down here. They going to make you disappear down here. Florida don't care about you. So that's like, why I say we got to know how to maneuver out here, bro. Because, like, you don't, bitch. Next time you know, bitch, you out here doing your career. Next time you know, bitch, you... Bitch, you about to go do time. You about to go do time. Touch that nose. It's crazy out here, boy. It's crazy out here. Like I'm telling you, if we don't if we don't start moving a certain way and acting smart and getting our mind together and start putting our business in front, this shit over with. You feel me? If we don't start getting together, plotting, planning, sticking and moving together type shit, this shit dead, bro. Don't make no damn sense out here, bro. We can't. We can't do this music shit. We done turn that to the streets. We can't do this right here. Because motherfuckers think it's not cool to work. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's really going on. What they teaching people out here for real. Because, like, boy. Mm-mm-mm. It's going down. I got to hit the Zaza because it don't, it don't make no sense, y'all. God damn, Melo the Dominican, what it do? Shout out to Melo the Dominican. God damn, where you been hiding at, my dog? Shout out to Melo, you know, that's a real one. That boy sent blue hunnids. Shout out to that boy Melo the Dominican, big ass donation, big blue hunnid. That boy sent hunnids. God damn. That boy shot the mellow. Cause when he send them, send, he send blue hundons. He don't send nothing but them blues, bro. It might, it might be a red hundred, but though he send blue hundreds. Mind your bit. In fact, you gotta mind your business. But at the same time, though, you gotta know how to stay in your business. You right, mind your business, but you gotta know how to stay in your business, bro. Cause sometimes we be jumping to other people's businesses. That don't got nothing to do with us. Next thing you know, you soft stuff. So you got to know how to move out here, bro. And my main thing is about if you trying to do your rap career, bro, focus on your rap career, bro. Like, you ain't supposed to go to the studio. And, bitch, you treating that bitch like you in the streets for real, bitch. The studio ain't the streets, bro. Even though it's so sad, it was social media. The studio is the streets. That would make it so bad, bro. That would make it so bad. The social media not the streets, but at the same time, social media is the streets. Because you try a motherfucker on social media, they gonna, they liable to spend the block twice. That's why I say, boy, it's tough out here, boy. You gonna do this music thing, you gotta know how to move out here, though. You feel me? Because ain't nothing cool about dying over some rap beef, bro. 
Bars. I might have said that again. Boy, those some bars for real facts, boy. Nah, real talk, bro. We, like, it don't make no sense, bro. Like, it's, like imagine that shit, bro. Like, with your family cheering you on, you rapping. 15, 16, 17, rapping. 18, bitch, you catching pistol charge. 19, pistol charge. 20, bitch, you, you going in. Bitch, it, it, it's rumors people's dying because of y'all. Bitch, you a D. You, you letting this bitch turn you to a whole demon, bitch. And, and, and look what we promoting. I'm a de I'm on demon time. I'm a demon. Bitch, I'm on demon time. Bitch, I'll splack a nigga. I'll wet a nigga, bitch. I'll let a nigga have it. Bitch, y'all niggas ain't happy, bitch. What the hell? Y'all niggas need a hug. Bitch, what? we got a huddy nigga, cub. Huddy, even the hoes. Fuck, nigga. These hoes mad. Everybody mad. Somebody got to hug everybody, bro. Uh, fuck going on, and that's what the shit, and that's what the fuck going on, cuz everybody on that demon time, bitch, that shit ain't all right. They driving Hellcats, the cars demons too. They smoking demons. They got demons guns. God damn it, these niggas the devil. We need to hug, yo, we need to go around hugging these motherfuckers, bro. They need hugs. I'm telling you, touch the nose. Because everybody too mad. What the hell? No. Like, Ply said, why you mad? Why you mad? They mad. Nigga, we need everybody bike happy, cuz. Y'all got me getting drunk. I don't even drink early like this. Got goddamn mellow the Dominican. Goddamn mellow. You can't always apply a street with the rule. Ooh. You what, what my dog Mellow say? You can't always apply the street rules to the corporate world. It's a different game. Shout to my nigga Mellow, man. He just dropped another blue hundred, and you sure damn right. But they and that's what they trying to do, Mellow. They trying to mix. They trying to mix the motherfucking. Business with the street shit, bro. The shit getting all tied up in the sauce. Mellow, yo, mellow, yo, mellow, yo. That's real. That's real nigga right there. Yo, 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 mellow, yo. I, I, I just tell one of my regular homeboys, bro. Cause I don't fuck with you, bro. My dog Mellow Dominican stay looking out for me, cause and I ain't seen Mellow yet. Y'all niggas, I see y'all every day. Y'all never looking out. Me and Mellow like this here. Y'all, I say my nigga Mellow. We, nigga, Mellow, make sure nigga get on that Zaza good. Y'all over there. Shh, shh. What? Mellow, real nigga, bro. Mm -mm -mm. I'll be at the house. I wonder what my dog Mellow doing today, though. You cooling? You feel me? That real love. But real talk, though. Like, we got to know how not to mix the business, bro, with the screech, cuz. We got to know. I got to hit the Zaza. We got to know how not to mix the business. Because touch your fucking nose, bro. Because it's like, everybody, salute the mellow for real. All right. Real niggas do real thing. You feel me? Because, like, can you imagine you jumping in this rap game, bro? You doing your shit, bro. You start getting famous. You start getting money. Bitch, you, you catching charges. Bitch, you bitch, you ready to catch a body? I'm about to catch a body. Like what go? Like why we want to catch a body now? We want to catch a body now, bro. It's like it's too much. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. We gotta start. Motherfuckers need some hugs out here, bro. Touch that nose. I'm gonna need y'all to touch that nose. Like and subscribe, cause it don't make no sense, bro. Cause I don't know how y'all other cities, but Florida. The police don't play down here, bro. The popos don't care. They, they, they don't care what song you got. They're going to say, what song? Who? Cut the fan on. <laughs> what? That's why I say, we got to get right, bro. We got to get happy, bro. We got to start networking. We got to start checking that shit for real. We got to start surviving, bro. Like, it, 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 
it's cool to know how to read, cuz. It's cool to motherfucking say, I'm not gonna be a thug. Ain't not, you, you ain't gotta be, bitch, a killer. You ain't gotta be ready every day to go, bitch, I'm about to go step, bitch. Jesus Christ. You got killers, I ain't kill nobody. You got killers, I ain't kill nobody, he a killer. This nigga ain't kill no, he itching. We too violent. We too violent. You feel me? So we got to know how to maneuver and handle business because they don't make no damn sense, boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The music, no, nobody making happy music no more. Damn it, dog. Sorry about that. Heavy text is going on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We got to know how to move. How to swerve. Man, but the problem is, bro, it, ain't nobody want to stay calm no more. It's all, it shoot them up, bang, bang. It, ain't no more... Talking, ain't no more vibe, ain't no more. Let, let, let's solve this shit out, bitch. bitch. Bitch getting shot up just for looking at the wrong way. So we gotta know how we gonna do this shit, how we gonna maneuver out here, how we gonna move out here, cause bruh, this shit crazy. I gotta hit the drink early, cause boy. Mm 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 mm. I'm trying to figure out why is why why ain't cool to be a regular why is why is not cool to be a regular person no more, bro. You feel me? It's too much pressure out here, but you are you you got basketball, you got football, then you got rap, rap music that could take you out the hood, that could change your family, that could have you better, but you jumping that shit, you full throttle, back in the streets ever than before, but we. Tiptoe is happy hour somewhere. Man, you know what time it is, man. Hold on, dog. Now you gotta say I'm st I'm stressed out right now, bro, because you gotta stand like a lot of artists is like, and that like it be pressure too, like, bro, when you doing this music, like that's nothing too. Let's say you is doing this music shit, you got all, a lot of street niggas around you. That could be pressure, bro. Cause remember, you doing that music, they still doing street shit. They gonna be talking, you talking your music shit, but they gonna be talking about that street shit. So it's like, you really gotta start cutting motherfuckers off when you trying to do this business shit for real, bro. You gotta know what you gonna do, how you gonna do it. And if you is gonna keep motherfuckers around, you gotta know how to move, you gotta know how to maneuver where that shit just don't get you attached. Cause one slip will have a bitch. You feel me? Yeah, because what well, dog, when a motherfucker getting money like that, these artists is getting that money, bro, and you got to go do, they got cars out here, they got payments on, big houses, big cribs, family members they taking care of. You got to go in jail like that? Man, that shit tough. You feel me? That's tough. When you got people... And you got bills out here. People, loved ones you taking care of, kids out here. And you got to go do that time. And you got to understand, this ain't no motherfucker. Sometimes, when they, when they, and you know when it's fast, it's never like no six months, two months. They might want you to do three years, four years, five years. That's tough, bro. You ain't got no time to go do none of that shit. You ain't got no time. You out here taking care of everybody. You the chosen one. You taking care of everybody, bitch. You go to jail, bitch. If the chosen one go to jail, bitch, that might the boat might the boat might sink, bitch. The boat might sink. How we gonna turn up, bitch? The boat might. Shh. But you the captain, bitch. You ain't there to drive it. Goddamn, mellow to the minute, mellow. 
God, Melo the Dominican, God damn it. This nigga here. This nigga Melo. Melo, nigga, I'm about to hug you, Melo. Through the screen. Just get, get your ass over here. This nigga Melo done sent 300 already. It only been 40 minutes, Melo. God damn it. Shit. Oh, hell no. I'm, Melo gonna give me a heart attack. Sending them blue hundreds, them red hundreds like that. God damn, Melo. Melo got me feeling like Fred Sanford. You hear that, Vivian? I'm coming to join you. You can play Melo. Oh, hell no. Melo, you got to chill. My dog, Melo the Dominican is sending them blue hunters too fast. My bad, them red hunters. Oh. I got to hit the Zaza. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Melo a real one. That's a whole different breed. God damn, Melo got me. Oh, my God. Melo, you can't be doing this when I'm trying to get these comments. You got, you got me, you got my head spinning, Melo. Oh, them blue hunnids, them red hunnids. God damn. Man, you know the cash app, the cash app link is tippy toe. You know, money sign, you know, tippy toe podcast. But God damn it, bro. I'm trying to talk. Melo keeps zapping me. Melo keeps saying, oh, you get, you can't be, he me with no, you can't be Ryu in me like it with no, how you get, who you is, Ken? Ryu, who you is? God damn, Melo. Shit. Shout out to that boy, Melo the Dominican, man. Real folks locked in right now, bro. Shit. But real talk, let me get focused, man. Baba shop up here. Melo just knocked my whole thing as of thinking out of there. I'm like, who, what, when, where? I I don't even cut the fan on, goddammit. it. God damn it. Melo, we gonna fight. Let me let me hit the Zaza, cause Melo got me confused, bro. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. This nigga Melo just making it rain. He got me at the strip club now. He done turned me to. No, I'm about to do the nene, -ne, nigga. Oh no, Melo got me about to whip. Do the nene, -ne. Melo. Don't Melo. Can you... I'm trying to focus, Melo. Don't. No, you done said 300. Can I? Can I? Can I focus, dog? Thank you, but god damn it, dog, Melo. You about to make me cut all my homeboys off. I ain't fucking with y'all niggas, man. I fuck with Melo, man. I no. Jesus Christ. Man, Melo, Melo done sent over, I think I, over, I think a stack, maybe a stack already, bro. I think Melo done sent a thousand already. God, I'm ready to, boy. Melo a real one, boy. I'm ready to bring Melo on the podcast for free and just talk about it. Blue Hunnids. Let's get focused, though, man. Like, 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 like I say, I'm sorry about that, man. Melo just gave me the Holy Ghost. We got to get it right. Now, real talk, though. Bruh, Melo trying to turn me a color. Man, look, let's get focused, though, bro. Like, for real, though, we got to know how to get out here, bro. We got to know how to move out here. Because it ain't always going to be lucky, you feel me? Especially with them Ricos, bro. You feel me? With them Ricos, ain't no telling what you're looking at. What, three years? What, four years? Five years? That's gonna be tough right there. 
You feel me? So that's going to be tough right there. So we got to know. You feel me? You say minimum? Don't say that. Now, I know they ain't looking at that much time now. I was talking about, like, you know, minimum, like, I think three, four, five. But my thing, that shit gets, that shit gets scary, bro. Like, you get into that money, bro. Bro, free that motherfucker. Oh, my. Oh, Kelly, bro. I know we off topic, but fucking R. Kelly, they gave that boy 30 years, bro. Bro. They gave R. Kelly motherfucking 30 years, bro. That's crazy. But my thing is, bro, what can you say, though, bro? And that's what I'm trying to say. They, they, they yo. They don't make an example out of anybody. So that's why I said you got to get to that money. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. You feel me? You got to know how to move. That's just like he hit that zone. You got to know how to... You feel me? Because, boy... No, facts. You right. Nah, facts. You got to run that bag up before you go in. But think about it. You don't want to turn yourself in. You don't want to go in. Who want to go in? Nigga, who the fuck want to turn themselves in? You just go in because you know there's the best thing to do. Get this shit out the way. But who the fuck want to turn themselves into jail, bro? You want to turn yourself... I ain't trying to go... I don't even want to go visit. You feel me? Yeah. We don't even want to go visit. So that's why I said we got to swivel right. Because now, like, what we looking at now? How much time we looking at? What we looking at? How much time we looking at? Honey oh, my God. <coughs> honeycomb Breezy. Free that boy Honeycomb Breezy. Because, like, what the fuck is that, bro? That man been locked up damn near all his life, bro. Honeycomb in that bit right now, freestyling. Freestyling, dropping ass, raw songs on his chest. Right now, Honeycomb back in prison or in jail. Did I seen a video with Honeycomb looking like Honeycomb had, what's his name? I seen a video with Honeycomb like this here. I seen a video with Honeycomb like this. A nigga had a couple hundreds right here, a couple hundreds right here. You feel me? He was rapping. He, he, he was rapping. I'm talking about just rapping. I'm like, God damn. Honey Kong was just out here getting big duffels. Now he in prison with two, three hundred dollars on him freestyling. And that's what I like, bro. You gotta, you gotta make that move before it's too late, bro. And that what I'm saying is this rap game, is the rap game a way out the game or oh, a curse, bro? Cause look at like perfect for real, honeycomb, bro. Look at that shit with the grandparents and shit. Cause you know, when you from the hood, you start getting that money, bro. It's tension, bro. Especially if you was out here beefing with other people. Ooh, man, niggas hate you more now, bro. Niggas hate you. You got the song out here, bitch. You jamming, even nigga. He don't even like you, but he's like, man, I ain't gonna lie, that nigga jamming, but I gotta still kill that nigga. You jamming so hard, yo, op like that nigga jamming. I'm gonna still kill that nigga. Why he jamming your shit? Nigga, like, I might kill that nigga while I'm jamming his shit. So that when I pull up, he gonna be surprised. I'm gonna be. <coughs> this shit crazy. So it's like, I ain't gonna lie, Honeycomb was a tough one right there, cause, bro, he been, been always been locked up, came out, went crazy. Got a crazy ass deal. Went back in there. Grandmas and parents disappeared, got murdered, flamed up in the house. He locked up freestyling again. That's the life. 
That shit, that's why I say this shit crazy. I don't know, like, if this if this what we got in the rap game for, this shit fucked up, bro. This shit dangerous, bro. Like, bro. Like, this shit. That's why I say, you bitch, you gotta... It's just like, 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 let me tell you what the rap game is like, too. Like, most motherfuckers that don't won the lottery, bro, they done went broke. They done got killed. Or they done got... Man, most motherfuckers... I don't, whenever you get a chance, bro, type in... Motherfuckers that didn't want the lottery and went back broke. Cruh. Them niggas go sort. They don't know. That's why I say you got to know how to move. You got to know how to move with that low money. So when you start getting that real money, you just on point. Because I'm talking about this. That money could be a fuck, boy. Now I see why they be saying that money could be the devil, boy. You got to know how to You gotta know how to swivel out here, bro. You got to know how to move, stay afloat. Because that shit will suck you in, cuz. Yeah. I'm finna hit that Zaza, cuz. Because I'm looking like you got to know how to be a lame when you out here getting to that bad. You got to know how to be a bad lame. You can't be heavy into the, bitch, I, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm powerful. Bitch, bitch, nobody can't tell me shit. I'm getting money. Tell, bitch, you got to know. Bitch, you got to motherfucking know how to be humble. You got to know how to chill, bitch, because a bitch motherfucking. Bitch. Bitch, you won't, bitch, you won't see that thing coming, cuz. Man, you, and, 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 and look right, you right. Everybody showing you fake love, but you got to know what's real love, bitch. You got to know, and but, and but look, see, but that's the problem, too. Some of us like that fake love. We get this new cloud, we get that new fame, whole bunch of people we don't know want to chill with us. What we do, we embrace it. We not, we not worrying about the people we been fucking with. That's why, so sometimes... It, just, it be both sides. You got to know how it's playing because that's sauce. You put what I'm trying to tell you. Like, sometimes it, it, sometimes it be your fault, too. You got to know what the fuck going on here, cuz. I'm telling you. Because I'm, I'm looking at that. That honeycomb, that's the worst one for me, though. Because I'm like, damn, honeycomb had that shit bad. Like, damn, he was on top of the world. Parents, grandparents disappeared. He back in prison. I'm like, damn. Is the rap game worth getting the rap game to do that? I said, the rap game worse than the dope game. You feel me? But like I said, you feel me? You know, hey, like I said, you know, we don't want to see how we're jumping. I got to hit the Zaza one time. One time for everybody that's locked up, bro. We got to hit the Zaza one time for everybody that's locked up. Because it don't make no sense, bro. Huh. Goddamn Mellow. This nigga Mellow done sent another hundred. Mellow, you done sent fucking 453 minutes, nigga. Who? Nigga. Mellow got the force. Force. This nigga Mellow. Give me the jouet. Jouet. This nigga Melo, give me the joint. Jesus Christ, Melo. Melo's selling them stice. Shit. Melo back at it again, boss. Melo gonna make me wreck out. Cause I'm trying to keep the drive. I'm trying to keep the steering straight. Melo gonna make. <laughs> you hear that shit, baby? Bitch, I'm like Red Fox, bitch. I'm coming to join you. Mello. This nigga Mello. Foss. Foss. Shit. Bitch, I'm about to crash, bitch. What the fuck going on? Jesus Christ. You say go on to, I, 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 I can't, I, you know I ain't no drink. I ain't trying to get fucked up. I got to sip that slow. Mellow going to have me speeding. Jesus Christ. Y'all, y'all give it up one time for Mellow the Dominican, man. God, that's a, ain't, God damn it. What, what's going on? 
Melo gonna make me cut all my friends off. Y'all don't support me, man. Melo support me. Y'all don't support me, man. It's going down. Y'all salute Melo the Dominican, goddamn it. Shit. Touch your nose. Melo gonna make me throw my whole nose away. God, Melo got the Zaza. God, Melo got me ready to just. Melo done got the Zaza pack money back. Melo done got the Zaza pack money back. God damn, Melo. Let me get a hug. God, real niggas do real things. God damn, Melo. Damn it. God damn it. It's going. This, Melo got the force. Force, force, force. Jesus Christ. It's going down. Man, we gotta get focused out here though, man. Melo be just, I be trying to stay on point. Melo just be throwing the whole conversation off. Melo just be having me just wrecking that. I be trying to stay focused. Melo got me at church. I feel like a pastor now. Melo got me at church for like a pastor. And I wanna tell you, we gotta stay smooth. We're gonna do this music game. We gotta stay focused. <clears throat> we gotta stay out the streets. Cause the streets ain't no good. Once you get in the streets, Shit ain't gonna no good. You gotta be in the studio, dropping them hits. I mean, dropping them hits. I mean, dropping them hits. Take your pen, take your pad, drop a hit. You could talk about it, but don't live about it. But when you start living about it, bring it to the heat, grab the gat, take it to the block. Mm -mm -mm. Uh uh uh. You can't do that. Oh, hell no. Nah. They got me going in right now. Yo, shout out to that boy Melo, cuz. Damn, they going in. Oh, why my phone blowing up? Jesus Christ, huh? That is crazy. They calling me up a interview, bro. That is crazy, bro. I'm sorry about that, y'all. My phone going off. It just don't make no sense how my phone go. I might just start putting my phone on, like, do not disturb and just leave it over there when I'm on live because I don't like how it just blowing up like this. That phone is just off the chain, like, bro. Nah, but real talk, though, bro. If we going to do this music shit, we got to be, we got to be, both foot in, bro. That one foot out, one foot in shit. In that street stuff. That is crazy. Yo, fat, what it do? I'm on live. What's going on, though? Well, I, I, well that's, a, that's a straight short film, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm on live. What's going on with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was calling to tell you about the film. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, you, oh, yeah. Oh, the film? Dog, that bitch five balls. Man, we, we gonna turn them up. Y'all right, brother. Man, what you think about the man? Since your ass interrupted the live, what you think about this motherfucking hot boy shit, though, fat? Oh, yeah, man. I seen what turned itself in, and goddamn, they had a prayer outside the jail house. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, Oh, no, so you seen them. you seen that pray shit though? You, oh, so that so that that's not a rumor. So it's, it's true. You seen it? I didn't get to no, see that's it. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sent it to you earlier. That's the truth. That's oh, true. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. So it's like, so like, so it, like, like, like with, with this Rico, do we know what time? How much we looking at? We don't even know yet. Uh, just think, put it like this: they gave they gave Glock nine. Sam. Um, Sam, you feel me? So. You know, like it get it, 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 it's gonna be something like like riding up in that that if they find him guilty, cause he still got a chance he can win. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he got so he got a way better chance. 
So he got a way better chance then. Hell yeah, 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 dog. It's just crazy, bro. That's crazy. crazy. How they do? That's how they do people out here, boy. Damn it, bro. That why my thing is like, bro. What? But what? But my thing is, bro. It, but this is like a back to back domino effect with a lot of these artists, though, fam. Hell yeah, man. It's crazy. They 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 try they trying to show you now, man. They they making examples, bro. They making examples, bro. They making an example. When we gonna start it? Like start to focus. Like them. They making an example. We gotta start. Swift in some type of way. We got to start moving hold some. On, hold on, Tiffany. Hold on, Tiffany. You feel me? Like I said, they making examples, but we got to know when when we gonna start saying them. They making examples. Let me get right. Let me tighten up. Shout my nigga Mellow, the Dominican for no reason. I just just feel like saying shout to my dog Mellow. But yeah, when we gonna say, you know what? Let me tighten up. They making examples. Let me lead by, let me lead, let me lead. Nobody leading, everybody falling right into a dip, bitch. Quicksand. Just falling, just. Oh, that's a quicksand? Put me in, coach. Niggas diving in the quicksand. Doing backflips in the quicksand. Let me get in there. Ain't no leaders, bro. And that's what I'm saying. We got to get this bitch right. We got to get this bit right. See, that's the problem. Everybody, we can't say everybody for themselves because when it's time to go to war or somebody that is, they need to, they need to, they need to camp. They need the crew. So we got to get the team right and get this shit right. Because if we don't, shit fucked up. Touch that nose, bro. Cause if we don't, shit fucked up. Mm -mm -mm. It's crazy out here, boy. I hope, like, 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 like Fat say, I hope he ain't gotta do no seven. Like you said, they gave him um, Glock nine, Sam. Oh man, seven years right now. You go do seven. That's a long time. You can't, man. Ain't gonna lie. That's too long to be doing right now, cuz. What? You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Shh. I gotta hit the size out, bro. God damn, that boy Melo done sent 500. God damn, Melo just... Just hit a lick. That boy Melo don't play. Man, y'all know what time it is, man. And look, man, that's why you got to stay focused. Like you say, Shh, man, we just got to know how to move out here, man. I'm going to have to hit up. What's his name? Let me see. He might be free. Let me hit up. What's his name? Because Remy Bottle might know. We might hit up Remy. He might know something, too. You feel me? Because this don't make no sense. So we're going we gonna to be taking some phone calls because we got to go to the streets right quick. See what's going on. How Remy feel about this situation because, boy. Mm -mm -mm. It's getting tough out here because they might they might they might have to pick different huh? games. Remy Bottle, what it do? Chilling, chilling. What's happening with you? Bro? I know you had hit me up earlier, but we were saucing up, man. Right now I'm with the YouTube with it, man. I'm trying to figure out like, you know, what kind of situation you feel like right now? Cause I don't know, you know, like I guess Hot Boy just turned himself in. Yeah, yeah. So the situation with Hot Boy? Yeah, I don't know if you know. You might not even be familiar with the situation. He had turned himself in, fam. Yeah, he had to. I heard, uh, just seen a couple situations where he had done. Uh, uh, I guess he violated the terms of his bond or something like that. So, you know, uh, I don't know what the case was. But because he don't violated uh, the terms of his uh, uh, release or his bond, you know, he had to turn himself in. But it took him a while to turn himself in because I think they didn't want him to mm -hmm. turn himself in like a week or two ago. Hell yeah, yeah, but see what I mean? You know, this was even kind of a little bit bigger than Hot Boy. My thing, I was more focused on, like, you know, these upcoming artists, you know, getting to that bag. But a lot right. of them, it seemed like... They, while they get into that bag, they fall into that cell. Right, right. And that's the, you know, that's the thing when we lose focus out here. Like, when we go on tasks and be focusing on a goal, you got to just stay focused out here. You know, it's a lot of situations, you know, we get caught up in and we just stay in that studio. If we want to rap, we just need to stay in that studio. Studio shows at our studio shows at our whatever. 
or whatever, get you to relax and give you some peace. But, you know, it just anything in life, where well, you just got to be consistent. But it's unfortunate he got caught up in some stuff like that. Because now it's like he going backwards, and he just got a shout-out from Drake, I believe, you know, about his song. And, you know, that's a, that's a big push. Now he can't even ride that wave right now. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. So he can't ride that way because now he locked up. He lost, you know, that's mojo. That's momentum. It's, it's Momentum is powerful, you know. But he could still get out and, you know, come back and do his thing. But, you know, the whole fact that he had to turn, you know, turn himself in, that's that's crazy. Jesus yeah. Christ, dog. Like, my thing is, like, you know, you know, growing up, you was always, you know, told, you know, play basketball. Right. Football. Right. And then, you know, out of nowhere, rap came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. But 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 my thing is is rap still like a good choice to tell your kids something to do as a as a career. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, some parents might not look at it as that, but they know it's lucrative. But if he, if the parent looking at the child, as long as the child just staying focused on what they rapping about, or you know just staying focused in the studio creating good content, you know whatever they feel like they follow is like listen to. Good music is good music. You can't deny that. But I mean, as a parent, it'd be hard because if you see your child, you know all these rappers that's in this field. They go, they doing nothing but going to jail. They doing nothing but you know whatever, getting killed or you know, whatever, you know, so it's like, that's not, that's a dangerous field for a parent to hear a child going into or hear their child going into, so, you know, that's the main thing with that. Mm-hmm. That's a, you know, it's, it is good guys, pros and cons, so you can look at it two different ways, like, maybe you got a good way about it, you know, the good way say, okay, it's lucrative, you know, you get a lot of fame, get a lot of money, right, but a lot of stuff come with that, so you got to be ready for that, and then, you know, it's pressure with that, man. That's what's, it's pressure that comes with a lot of that stuff, man. With success in the rap game, is a lot of pressure. So as long as you can deal with that pressure and just stay focused, <coughs> and, and that's why I feel like, money. and that's why mm-hmm. I feel like they need to give a course on that success before you get success sometime too, bro. No, for real, because sometimes stuff moves so <coughs> fast, especially now. You can be independent, and you know you can make things happen. You can just you know take things, you know take things to you know you basically control the narrative now you can control the narrative because you got a platform you can create any platform you want but some parents ain't gonna look at it like that like oh that job too dangerous i know too many rappers that ooh, ooh, ooh. some people don't want their kids to curse <laughs> some people yeah, you know that's just crazy but see it was, it was different when it was just cursing now it's mm-hmm. like bitch your kid might get killed. Your kid might go to jail. Your kid might be whatever, whatever, man. Right, because that's one of the dangerous fields of it right now. I think the main thing is, like, you feel me, what needs to happen. I mean, if you're a parent, if you know there's a adult around guiding the, the, the rapper, like the rapper's in good hands, then a parent might feel safe to, you know, let a um, rapper, let them, let them become a rapper because if they do that, then I mean they got guidance. A lot of times, you know, the rack and everybody young, you feel me, them boy get money. You know, them young niggas, they got motion. You mm-hmm. feel me, them boy got motion. So it's like, it's just, how do you control that motion? How do you control, you know, the situations and the pressures and the, you know, stuff that comes around that come with the territory? And, and the Where thing you is, well, you know, some of these young niggas with that motion don't want to listen to nobody. They don't want to listen to nobody because they got that motion solo dolo. You, you can't tell me? them nothing. <laughs> Are you feel me? They ain't, they ain't need no record label, but you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But like what you that. say to the people that say rap ain't safe no more, though? Nah, it ain't. It really ain't. Because when you think about all the popular music that's out, there's a lot of violent music. Everybody bad and everybody get money though. So, but if everybody else is listening to the people that's mad all the time, yeah, that be ain't safe. <laughs> <Mm-mm-mm>. <laughs> it ain't. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Uh, my thing, we're trying to figure out what the hell, like, what's the next move? Because my thing, if it's like, it's going to keep getting worse and worse, bitch, like, damn, what the what the hell is there to do? Right, right, man. You know, a lot of us don't think school is cool, but <laughs> And that's what I be saying, too, is like, a lot of stuff that's like, ain't cool, is that's crazy. Like, the stuff that you're supposed to be worrying about ain't cool, is like, not cool, you ain't big for everybody. Right, right. You know, everybody got a lane out here. Once you find your lane, you can master that lane and get that skill set. So don't think school ain't cool. You know, you can go to school, make other things happen in life, you know, and nothing wrong going hard for somebody else and then working hard for yourself, you right. know, so you can learn a couple of things. You know, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you know, 
just got to think about it in the aspect of it's a growing process, but you sometimes you got to have a certified team. Like, just for instance, like, when I, you know, a lot of people, when they grow up, they be having, like, managers or something, but that manager's kind of, like, supposed to be your mentor or whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of young boys, they ain't like, well, I got motion. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't need no manager, no regular label, no independent. I'm independent, which is cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but when, how you manage that success when you get it? So. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's so motherfucking true, bro. No, it'd be crazy. So, I mean, can't, it's hard to really tell. <laughs> it's hard to really tell somebody who's getting that bag. You feel me? So early on, and, you know, everybody's so young. Everybody get that bag. But there's so many ways to get to the bag now in that rap game. So yeah. it's like it's so easy to do it. Yeah, so no, um, somebody, so, 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 like, somebody, so, so, people want to know too. So is hip hop dead? Mm. So they said originally it was hip hop started up uh, up north and it was supposed to be um, to talk about police brutality and stuff like that. But now it switched up from, um, you know, the all right, so basically I feel like hip hop has so many different eras, like rap and hip hop and all that. So you got an early, early age of hip hop, like, you know, whoever, like, I don't know, like the old heads, Tupac and Biggie or whatever, like, you know, then you got the, the next generation, you got the cash money, the... You know, the No Limit Soldier, you got the down south taking over. Like, every city or every area looked like they had a turn. Mm-hmm. You know, West Coast had a turn. You feel me? West Coast, it was a big movement. Dr. Dre and all of them over there handling business. You know, then you got the you got the New York always been, you know, big dog. Then you got the South always been handling business. Oh, really turned up, like, around 05, 06. So it just depends. Like, I don't think, I mean, if you're going to call hip-hop as far as, like, creating a message... If you can look through what everybody talk about as far as like all the drugs and all the stuff that they be using and stuff, if you can find a message in that if to overcome something, then okay, that's good for you, you know. But some people just from different eras of music, hip hop probably dead to some, but there's some music like people like that type of music, man. Mm-hmm. That drill music, whatever the music is, mm-hmm. you know, depending on the age of the generation, especially if. Uh, Especially if the art is like really hot, really popular, man. They gonna be jamming to that. But I don't really think hip hop dead. You know, it just it's a different era of music right now. Facts, a different era of music, yeah. That's all it is, you know. I don't really it just it, it might be like you, maybe that person music era is dead. Right, right. But music ain't never you know. dead. It, it it goes on. Right. Mm-hmm. But my thing is like, but my thing is like. So, but some people say throwback, you know, the violent been around. It just now, you know, you got camera phones everywhere. That's why you can see it now. But they're like, man, oh, something. Oh, yeah, man. Camera phones definitely made everything. You feel me? All right. Now, we're going to chop it up in a minute, too. Sound like you saw right, stuff. Right. Yeah, sir. Hey, yeah, man, y'all keep it keep it locked there, man. Tip it to a podcast. You know how we get down. Oh, All right. You know. Man, I'm really sure. about it. Y'all know. Them boys saucing up right now. Yeah, man. Ain't no game, bro. Touch that nose. Super chat, what it do? You know, we vibing right now. Man, you got, man, you know you got facts. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. We got to get it in, man. I'm going to need y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. Go like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Touch that nose. Don't forget to hit the tippy toe podcast.com. You feel me? Buy you some merch, some tippy toe, you know, products and stuff like that. You feel me? And the cash app, you know, is tippy toe, you know, you know, podcast, the little money sign, all that good stuff. We're going to turn up. Please, Z, touch that nose. Okay, then.